It happens on March 4th, 2014, just before 5 p.m. in Daytona Beach, Florida, known as the world's most famous beach. This particular area of Florida, cars are allowed to drive on the beach. And while everyone's out enjoying their day, they see a woman driving curiously close to the water. You're thinking, why is this car going into the ocean? It's a stormy day. Winds are driving big waves onto the shore. But this black minivan edges dangerously close to the water. Concerned, people driving by begin to videotape. And then they hear something terrifying. Are they saying help? If they're saying help, that's different. Young children are in the car, and they're scared for their lives. You see these two children leaning out the window. Help us, help us. People race over. Disaster is imminent. There's the vehicle, children screaming, the crashing waves, a potentially lethal situation. Timmy Tessenier, a former volunteer firefighter, is driving home with his family when he sees the unfolding horror. The one kid was hanging out the back window saying, she's trying to kill us, she's trying to kill us. When I heard the word help, I took off running. At the same time, Stacy Robinson is packing up after a day at the beach when he hears something that is almost too awful to comprehend. Help us, help us, help us. My mom is trying to kill us. It's like a scene out, out of a horror movie. It was horrible. Both men race towards the car. When they get there, they see two panicked children and a catatonic woman behind the wheel. She seemed possessed. No emotion. She wasn't screaming. She wasn't crying. It was mind blowing. The look on her face was just blank, like she was just not there. Just a spaced out look. The car edges deeper into the ocean, and the early March conditions are especially precarious. It was very windy. The water was freezing, bone chilling water. And even more frightening, one of the children, a 10-year-old boy, has climbed onto his mother's lap and is wrestling with her. The son was fighting with her, snatching the wheel, trying to get her to come out of water. And that's when the woman does something unthinkable. I heard the engine rev. She headed towards the deep end, gunned it towards the deep end. Turned the van like hard left, straight into the water. As Tim frantically waves to the rescue vehicles that have pulled onto the beach, Stacy jumps into action. I ran, I chased the van down. But the car is now getting pulled under the wild waves. That water was picking that van up off the ground and moving it around. You're in a critical situation of how much time you have to try to get those people out of the car. Determined to save the children, Stacy manages to slip his arm into a window that is slightly open, just as the car sinks further underwater. The height, I'm 6'6", six, six, and it was mid-chest. You saw it getting closer and deeper into the waves, and the waves getting higher. I was pushing buttons, pushing buttons, and my next step was to break the window. Like a split second later, the back window was coming down. Stacy quickly reaches in and pulls the boy and his nine-year-old sister to safety. But this disaster is far from over. As he wraps his arms around the panicked siblings, they scream at him. My baby sister, my baby is still in the car. There was a baby still in the child seat, and we never see the baby. It was just awful. As Tim tries to open the back of the minivan, a lifeguard rushes in. But the surf is swirling dangerously. I slipped and fell, and I thought, man, if I get trapped in this van, I'm in trouble. It's intense. Another lifeguard runs in, and with the car about to go under, he frees the three-year-old girl from the car seat just in time. He almost went under, too. A huge wave came over top of the van, like a few seconds later. And as if all this isn't shocking enough, in the midst of the danger and chaos, the dazed mother climbs out of the car 
and casually strolls away. Just nonchalantly walking down the beach, away from the van. And there's something else. That's when I noticed her stomach. Like, wow, she's pregnant. She has a pretty nice baby bump. It blows my mind that those kids had a chance of dying that day. There's a baby. The woman, 36-year-old Ebony Wilkerson and her children, are taken to a hospital for evaluation as police launch an investigation. Just a few hours later, custody of the kids is handed over to Florida's Department of Children and Families. She definitely tried to kill her children. The children's words haunt investigators. They tell them mom was going to drive us into the ocean to die. Mama was trying to kill us. Mama was crazy. The more we learn about the story, the more troubling it becomes. Video of the horrifying scene instantly goes viral. She deliberately drove her minivan right into the ocean. Her other kids are the ones who say, no, 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 there's a baby still in there. On Friday, March 7th, 2014, Ebony is arrested and charged with three counts of attempted murder and child abuse. But her family says she needs medical help. Earlier, on the day of the ocean incident, her sister calls 911. She's talking about Jesus and that there's demons in my house. It turns out that Ebony has recently come to Florida from South Carolina, running from a husband she says is abusive. Her sister is alarmed by her mental state. The day before, her family had actually taken her for some mental evaluation. She was showing signs of mental crisis. But the next morning, Tuesday, March 4th, Ebony's sister learns that she's checked out early, and the family is desperately worried about her and her children. She's getting a little bit better, but she's still not all here. So she's trying to drive, and I'm trying to stop her. Under Florida's Baker Act, families can get emergency detention for people impaired by mental illness. But authorities tell her sister that in this situation, there's nothing they can do. At that time, you didn't have anything to indicate that she was a danger to the children or to herself. Just a few hours after leaving the mental health facility, Ebony is driving her kids into the ocean. And if not for those heroic Good Samaritans, it very likely would have ended in tragedy. They put themselves in harm's way to save these children. 